no matter what, always keep the road open for me. And we had a blizzard, an ice, uh, ice, ice storm in Virginia that year. And we were living in Dale City, Virginia, and there was this big old uh, ice storm that came. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that was snow. And then I said, Lord, and I had just got, I hadn't been saved that long either. And right. I said, Lord, how am I going to get to the sanctuary? <laughs> and so all of a sudden, the neighbors from across the street and on the side, they all came over to my our house at the time, and they began to dig my car out, dig the um the uh, driveway out, uh -huh. so we could get out. Amen. They didn't know we were going to church, but they they did all of that because they were doing it for everybody. Yeah. And they did it for us. That's that's my opportunity right there. I'm going to the house of prayer. God made some way. He made some way. One when, you, when you were seeking Him and seeking. To, to glorify him, mm -hmm. he makes a way. Makes a way yeah. Regardless. Mm -hmm. The devil can do whatever he wants to, but God's going to make a way. That he's, that's why we call him a way maker. Mm -hmm. Because he makes a way. That's it, isn't that something? Folks, <laughs> 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 on. Folk on, on social media, y'all catching the end of a of an inside thing here. Y'all need to come on down so y'all can see what all is going on. Amen. We're just having a good time in the Lord. Amen. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, praise the Lord, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Because He is God. He's God all by Himself. Yes, Amen. He is. And, and when it comes down to nitty gritty or when it comes down to the end of the whole matter, here comes God. God said, I'll do it myself. Yes, He does. Amen. Now, if He can't depend on man or when He cannot depend on man, God said, I'll do it myself. Yes, He does. I'm trying to tell you, isn't that wonderful being a servant of God to say, I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. I told you everything was taken care of. I got this. Yep. I'm trying to tell you, that's the kind of God I serve. Amen. Amen. So we said, welcome to Personal Touch International Ministry, a place where God came as yes. unto you. Amen. 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 This is the place to be, even on this rainy day. Amen. 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 Hulk Mills, amen, and all of the surrounding counties and towns. This is the place to be, amen. 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 So we never shut down. Amen. amen. <laughs> we thank and praise God that God gives us the ability amen. and the strength, yes. oh God, which is his joy yeah. to yeah. want to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts yes. with praise. Amen. Yes. Yes. To lift yes. him up. Amen. Yes. Not one another, but to lift him up. In one another. Yes. Amen. So he will be glorified even on a rainy day. Amen. 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 So we said, tell a friend, tell a foe, tell your family members that we're up and running today. Amen. 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 You still got time to get here. Amen. 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 Because we just get ready to go into a few songs. Amen. Praise and worship. Amen. Read the scripture, everything. So come on now. Amen. Join us if you can. Amen. 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 Amen.
works in us. I'm trying to tell you the better they get. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I tell you, there is no shame in his game.
all over. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Every word is a healing word. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And yes, I tell you, true. and when he speaks that word, it goes straight to the source. Yes, yes it does. Or whatever the problem is. Amen. Or whatever the need is. Yes, amen. And I tell you, healing word. I tell you, I love it.
working, he never stopped, he never stopped working, never stopped, he never stopped working, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop.
personal touch, three, four, five, one. The T is capital and the T is capital. That's dollar sign, personal touch, three, four, five, one. Amen? Amen. Amen. Same birthday, same day. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, yeah. So since we won't be here, 
praise and worship the songs, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for how you're moving by your spirit in our house. We thank you, Lord God, for the sweetness of your spirit, oh God, the readiness of your spirit, but yet the sweetness of your spirit that encompasses this house, oh God, encompasses us individually and corporately. And Lord God, continue to move by your spirit as we begin to speak that which you've given us from your heart today to the soul of man. In Jesus' name, amen yeah. and amen. We start out by saying to inherit means to receive a revocable gift with an emphasis on, an emphasis on the special relationship between God and his children. Amen? Amen. In other words, what God gives to his, he will not change it. He will not come back and take it or reverse it. He will not even try to recover it or recover it. Amen? Right. It's final. What he gives to us is final. Yeah. Amen. And we need to understand that, that what God does for us is final. Amen. Romans 11, 29 says, for the gift and the calling of God are irrevocable. They are without repentance. In other words, God is not going to repent that he gave us, amen, a free will. He's not going to repent that he gave us the gift of salvation. He's not going to repent. And, 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 and leave it all and saying, well, I should have never gave this to them. Amen. Because, see, he knows us. Yes, he does. Glory. Yes, he, does. Glory. he knew us before the beginning of the foundation of the world. Yes, so think does. about that now. He saw us in error. He saw us failing. Amen. He saw my generation. Amen. Amen. But yet because of his love for the soul yeah. of man. And our inheritance that he has given to us, his promises, amen, he still wants to fulfill that which he has already spoken, amen? Amen. He wants to do that. So unlike man, God obeys his own word. Yes, he does. He obeys his own word. Yes. Will you allow your soul access to his entitled inheritance? Mm -hmm. Will you? Will you speak to your flesh and ask your flesh? <laughs> Amen. To get up off of you, stop captivating you so, so you can hear God. Will you do that? Amen. Because your inheritance is so important to you Amen. as an individual, as a member of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And being part of the agency called the church in the, in the earth. It is so important. Amen. Amen. There's more than laying on hands. There's Amen. more, far greater than speaking Amen. 
Amen. Because see, God had already predestined me to come. Yes, he has. Oh, God, this thing ain't going to get sweeter. Because when, when you find out how he's already predestined you to be holy, right. I'm yes, telling you, if you call on his name, you're going to say, yes, I'm telling you, you're going to have to go high. Amen. I'm telling you, because he got a marvelous thing. Yeah. Amen. I'm telling you, I told you I celebrated 32 years of a spiritual birth, a new creature in here. That thing blesses my soul every day, every other day, every week, every month, every six month, every year to know that I'm still standing yes. in the yes. will of God. Yes. I'm still standing on the standards that he brought me out of darkness with. I'm still standing. Amen. Hallelujah. That I throw it. I won't let nothing turn me around. Amen. I won't let no I will not, but Mark, let nothing. Nothing. When I mean nothing, I mean nobody also. Nobody's voice can change my hearing like God did. Amen. God, I hear you, Jesus. I tell you, Lord, have mercy. Let me, let me do this, Father. Let me do this. I tell you, let me do it. Mm. This is why Jesus came to redeem, renew, and restore that which was lost through the first Adam. He came to give back to us what God had originally intended. Yes. Paradise. Yes. Eden. In the earth realm. Oh, but I tell you. So ask your flesh if it'll permit your soul to gain, <laughs> to gain consciousness long enough to hear the word of God. And allow the word of God to resurrect you. Bring you to life. Yes. To spiritual life. Yes. Wake you up. Ask your flesh. And see, I keep saying ask your flesh because we know so much about our flesh that we don't even know that we're spirit beings. That's right. We know so much That's about right. the flesh that we don't even know that we are spirit. That's right. First. That's right. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. First. And just knowing this before experiencing this should raise the level of spirituality and reduce the kill, the familiarity of your flesh. Yeah. I'm telling you, just this part alone ought to be done. You, done already, you should already be sitting up there in front of the Father on your face saying, yes, Lord. Yes, in your heart, yes. in your heart, saying, yes, Lord, yes, yes Lord. Yes. Ephesians 1, 3 through 14. We're going to walk through this, and after we walk through these verses of Scripture, we're going to close it out. Amen? Amen. 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 Ephesians chapter 1. Verses 3 through 14. But I'm going to take my time, man. Come on now. Amen. But we got time. We, you want to do nothing but go home and go to sleep. Amen. Amen. It's going to finally slack down on that rain and this stuff. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm getting sleep. Eyes getting heavy and everything. <laughs> but we're going to have to wake up and go on through this process. So see, this is part of the process. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all, all, all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Yes. In Christ. Yes. In Christ. Not hanging around at the door, not peeping through the windows, but in Christ. In Christ Jesus. God has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing yes. in the heavenly realm. As well as in the kingdom of God. Yeah. See, we always talk about getting in the kingdom. You always, we always talking about we kingdom citizens, we kingdom this, and we kingdom that, and we ain't know what's in the kingdom because we're not in Christ. Come on now, God, I hear you, Jesus. Right. Christ Jesus was the one that brought us into the kingdom. Yes, and you've got to be in Him to get in the kingdom. That's right. That's right. Oh God, I love you, Jesus. God is blessed. So he has favored us, his pleasure, to be blessed also with him. Not separate from him, but with him. Not bless me, Lord, and then I go on about my business, but with him. Yeah. Amen? Because see, God ain't handing out no blessings separate from himself, That's apart right. from himself. Right. He ain't giving out no houses, land, and cars. Amen? Right. Money and all this kind of stuff. Education, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding without him. Amen. Right. Amen. Because see, we don't get nothing without him. Come on now. And when you get it from him, it becomes him. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
So I tell you, I'm in the Sunday school. Ephesians mm -hmm. 1 and 4 says, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. Yeah. Uh, he on, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Yeah. Holiness is still right. Come on now. Hallelujah. Holiness is still right. Yes, it is. We were chosen to be holy. Yeah. It's not a strange thing that we don't want to dress like the world. We don't want to act like the world. Why? Because we were born holy. Come on now. We were born in him to be holy. Yes. Holiness ain't no fair. It ain't no, no thing that just comes and goes. It ain't no thing that wears out with time. Because no. see, God is not time. He owns time, but he's not time. That's right. That's right. Holiness is here forever. Holiness is here to stay. Yes, it is. Amen. It is. In God's love, he chose us. Picture this thing. Picture you. Pick us out as his own for himself. He picked us out. He said, I'm going to put this little girl right here with, with Lori and Willie Lee. And I, 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 oh, yeah, I'm going to add two brothers to it, but I'm going to take this one. Because, see, this one is mine. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this, this young man here. I'm going to take Brother Mark, and I'm going to put him with Irene and Mark. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to give him another child, too. But this one belongs to me. You better come on here now and go with me with this thing. But see, it, it, it ain't no miracle in understanding or no amazement of how and why you're in the house of God. Why are you listening to the word of God? Why are you No. <laughs> no. 
I want to say someday I want to leave out here too. I'll be fine. <laughs> Amen. If y'all come to the conclusion that I don't like doctors, I'm afraid of doctors, you all right. <laughs> Ching ching. Mm -hmm. Your salvation and desires to do the will of God is not your own. It's God's love for us, which caused him to choose us for himself and to put his desires in our heart for him. Yeah. Right. I, I, see, by the time we finish, you need to know you're not even in the picture at all. Right. No, as far as any, 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 uh, uh, what you call them when you pat people on the back and stuff? Yeah, yeah the little accolades and oh, God uses me too. Uh-uh, you ain't even in the picture. Because you are a sold out vessel. You are a vessel that already has been predestined for our day to be holy in God. Yes, in Christ. To accept the ways of Christ Jesus, to do the will of God in earth, and that is already set. That's right. I love it though, because some people try to change their stuff. I don't be trying to change my stuff. Mm -hmm. and I said, God, is this the way we go? This is the way we go. Amen. So you can truly say to your soul that God picked me and you for Himself. My salvation, your salvation is not a mistake. That's right. You're not even here by a mistake. Amen. In the world, you know, the devil and flesh and other people, parents, all of them, you ain't going to never be no good. You ain't worth this. You ain't, uh-uh, but God said, I picked you for myself. Yes, Amen. They labeled me a her in the blanket. But God said, I picked you for myself. Yes. I had to wait 33 years down the road to know that. But the thing is, God said, I picked you for myself. Right. Amen. Amen. We're talking about my soul's inheritance. Your soul's inheritance. Amen. Amen. It's the plan of God. If you ever doubted what was God's plan and purpose for your life, this is it. Your soul's inheritance. God has invested in you already. Yes, he has. Amen. And he's invested highly in us. Everything. And, and, he, and he knows we're going to make it. Y'all miss that yeah, one. He, he knows, he knows we're going to make it. Yes. The thing is, we got to catch up with what he knows right. about us. He already knows we're going to make it. Yes, he does. Because if he didn't, he'd have never chose us. Come on, no. I don't chose, he don't choose nothing that ain't going to do what he won't do. So you're going to have many people, many of 
going to try and come with that reproach. Amen? Amen. But see, that, even the reproach is above his love. Come on now. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's before, even above reproach, the scripture says, but his love, he loves us still above that. Yes, he does. I don't care what they labeled me. I don't care what they called you. I don't care how they act towards you and how they don't want to be bothered with you. It says above reproach. Reproach, that is far above your rearing of your family. When they say that you're not going to amount to nothing, your disappointment, your ups and your downs, your dumbness, your slowness, whatever they, even the devil Christmas saying, you ain't going to make it. Right. How you going to make it now? Where's God? Right there. She said, I love you still. I love you above that stuff. So I tell you, verse 5 says, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Jesus Christ is the adopting agency for the soul of man. Yes, he is. He's the agency. Amen? Yes. Not houses and land and cars. Not walking in your gifts talking about huh, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. not, not doing the home dance. That is not the adopting agency. The, the pastor is standing And I declare, God, if you go on through, God will send it back to where it came 
they've been chosen by God from the beginning. I believe if a lot of people knew and understood what the word was really saying and stopped preaching them feel-good messages based upon the feel-good scriptures that they feel it, yeah. but grab a hold of this soul's message and know that God chose you. Yeah. Know you can stand no matter how much hell comes your way. Yeah. And it comes your way like that because your will is strong. Come on now. You don't want to give up easy. Right. You don't want to surrender all right then. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you what it is. <laughs> See, the devil thought I was going to give God peace. <laughs> when God saved me, the devil thought I was going to give God a hard time. <laughs> when I heard that voice, Brother Mark, everything on me fell off. I said, yes, Amen. Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Because I knew I didn't have a dog in that fight. Amen. I knew I couldn't do nothing with that. But see, your struggles are hard because of that will. That will is tough. God gave you something as strong as his. It's called will. Free will. Yeah. But yet still, he still got a plan for you. Yeah, he, does. he got a way to make you call you to say yes, Lord. Yeah. I know he did. Because I'm telling you, I'm a witness to that thing. Amen. Uh -huh. We are already on the list. We've been adopted, amen? But we're on God's list for adoption through his adoption agency. We're not on, on, on this any old waiting list. That's right. When he predestined me before I even, my generation even rolled around. Ain't no telling how many thousands and thousands of years it was beforehand. But when the time came, yeah. and my generation here, what they call the baby boomers, when the baby boomers came in, I was already on the adoption list of God through Christ Jesus. We were on the list of predestined and foreordained. And this list has been, has been and is only managed by God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Right. Because he cannot trust nobody else with the list with your name on it. Come on now. He can't trust nobody with you. He got to do it himself. He got to come himself. That's right. He got to do it. He cannot trust anybody else but your soul's return to him. Right. See, because it's guaranteed to come back to him. So he cannot trust nobody with his scroll. He can't trust anybody and everybody with his nutrition, his nourishment, to feed it, to cause it to grow, That's right. to love him. <laughs> not growing want stuff, not growing bad him for stuff, right. but to love him yeah. and let him give you the riches of the kingdom and to the kingdom as you need it down here in the earth. Right. Amen. I'm trying to tell you because see the riches of the kingdom are far greater than these little piggly things, piggly things down here in the earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So anything God puts his hand on that man made is eternal. That thing will last you. You don't have to get rid of it before it wears out. That's right. I'm trying to tell you, that's just the way God is. That's right. But he don't trust nobody but you. Mm. That's how valuable your soul is. That's the inheritance. You know, we are so important to God that God said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Even you, devil, don't you go near them. That's right. I got work for them. I got plans for them. Trying to tell you, verse 6. Ephesians, what is it, 1 and 6? Mm -hmm. Is that the right one? Yep. Okay, 1 and 6 says, To the praise of his glory, of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. Look at that. What he says, St. John 6 and 44, No man can come to me except the Father had sent me. The Father which had sent me draw him. Yeah. And I will raise him up at the last day. I'm trying to tell you, God is so specific about you and your soul. Yes. He is very precise yes. of who he wants to feed you, who he wants to give you to give yours to, or whatever that is he has revealed to you. He is very precise. Because yes, mm -hmm. if everybody were willing to sit down and know that they ain't got nothing in them, 
them from God. That leave a lot of space for those that have been called, predestined, and foreordained, that really to do God's work. Yeah. Then they can watch the realness of God and see what is really real and what's not real. Then they can make a choice now. Do you want to do it God's way? Or do you want to continue in a traditional life and, and be religious in all that you do? I'm still waiting on God to drop a scroll from the heavens and say that the holy dance is illegal. <laughs> <Come> on, <laughs> I'm still waiting on him to drop a scroll down and say, this is not of me. I didn't tell you to do this. Don't do that. Right. This is the devil. Because some people don't need it just like that. This is the devil. This is not God. That's right. And then they're going to fight you on that. Yeah, they will. <laughs> so that we might be the praise and comment, comment, Commendation of his glorious grace, his favor and mercy, which he so freely bestowed upon us in the beloved. The beloved is Jesus is Christ. Amen. It's Christ. Yeah. So all you people say, I know God. God now. Oh God, I got good understanding with God. Not without the beloved, you don't. Oh, no. yeah. Not without Jesus, That's you so. don't. Yes. That's why I keep telling y'all that the first words about knowing God. Right. And then that's thing you know, they usher at the 
Why would you liken God to a piece of food? He is so far greater than anything that man can ever pronounce and announce and even make. So why do we even take God and put him down here in this stuff? He's holy. Yeah, declare that. He's so holy, this stuff can't even stand around here that you claim he gave you. At the, at the sight of the presence of God, your possessions will melt. Come on. Just like yeah. your flesh. Yes. It melts. But yet you're going to liken that to him. I'm telling you, it, it doesn't make any sense because the devil has really slipped and nicked into so many people. Yes, he has. Peanut butter and jelly. I had to turn the station when I heard that. I said, Lord, have mercy. Why do people sing? Why? What, what is the purpose of a song? Just to make money? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, uh, Elder Wright, the Lord has shown me that it is getting ready to be a wave of so much. It's getting ready for confusion, a wave of confusion, a wave of, of dementia, a wave of, of, of so much is getting ready to affect the mind. Of those that say they love God. Oh, oh, of those that, uh -huh, of those that say that God called them. And if that's not enough proof for you to know that God is not a toy, he's not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, he's not your possessions of your houses, land, and cars, and money, I don't know what, what else you're going to need. Any angel papa in your daddy. Yeah, your angels, and your papa, your all that stuff. He is not, he cannot be likened to those things. He's in a category all by himself. God. Come on, shake it up. He stands alone. Yes. Come on. Now. Even though he loves us, he's still God himself. Yeah. You can't liken him to nobody and nothing. Yes. And he ain't nobody's sugar daddy either. He not there, you can rain his bail and he gonna just pour down stuff to you. That's not God. That's the devil. Yeah. Yeah, that is stupidity. Mm. He has bestowed upon us the luxurious, extravagant, and excellency of himself. He's put that upon us, himself. It's like I shared with him in the Bible study. When you begin to study the word of God, and the word, the word of God is personified. When you get it in your heart, you just got God in your heart. God now is in your heart. Yeah. That's another, that's another clue right there when those people are not studying. Because you become what you study. Amen. I tell you, Lord have mercy. <laughs> God has given to the soul of man. He has bestowed more lavish stuff than you could ever imagine. They're spiritual. Yeah. And it's his inheritance to us. Yeah. We always follow, we want the promises of God, but what have you done to get the promises of God? Yeah. God is not a man and he should lie. Why are you always trying to throw his word back at him and you haven't done nothing he told you to do? That's right. yeah. We always find the scriptures to tell God what God needs to do. Don't know how holy he is. See that 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 shows our ignorance that we don't know how holy this God is. Miss the if and then. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We really don't know because see tradition and religion that made us believe oh you can just walk right in his went to his presence mm -hmm. and he'll give you what you want. Mm -hmm. Uh uh uh. -uh. You can walk in his presence if you want, you won't be coming back. Amen. Come on. Man. Just like they did in the Old Testament with those priests, what they do, they put that rope and that bell on it. That's right. And when that bell and that, that bell no longer would jingle whenever he was moving around in there, they know that joke was dead. That's right. Why? Because God killed him because of his unrighteousness. That's right. We can't have men that little old Satan. We can't play with God. We talk about God himself. Yeah. And when he called us and chose us, he put himself there. That's right. He called and chose himself in you. I'm telling you, we got to get this thing right. We got to get it right. Verse 9 says, Having made 
made known unto the mystery of his will. Just the fact that he's holy is enough for me. Amen. That gives me fear and reverence for him. Yeah. You better not come and tell me, oh, it's easy to just get this. So, you know, you could, you had a bit of this. Yeah, you said me. You had a bit of this. You could have thought, uh-uh. He's a loving God, but he's wrong. He ain't playing. Holy. 
that holiness keeps him intact, though. Yeah, and thank God for Jesus. Thank God that he sent Jesus because, see, Jesus is the one that diffuses him. Jesus is the one that keeps him calm. Jesus is the one that keeps him fulfillment. Jesus is the one that stands in the gap so he can't right. see my sin. Yeah. Jesus is the one that causes him not to even look the ways of sin yeah. until we can get this thing right. That's right. I'm trying to tell you, you better not try to get to God without Jesus. Come on. You don't even try. You, all of you all that had that in your mind, you better go back and study and get Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. You better go back and study because you don't need Jesus before you get anything from God. That's authentic. That's right. We all have or want to have many plans in our mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for us that we'll stand. Why? Because we are his creation and his plan incorporated in his purpose. It's all about him. The quicker we all can come into the knowledge of this, the better saved, redeemed, and set free we all will be. Yeah. We'll be free then for real. Because we have learned that this thing is not about me at all. Right. It ain't about what I can do for God. It's what, what did John F. Kennedy used to say? He said, ask not what you can do. What your country can do to you, but what you can do for your Yeah, well, that's by his first week. See, ain't what God can do for you is what you can do for God. Because right. God done already did everything. Yes, he you can't do nothing for him. He, it's already done. That's why I said the faith worship, all that kind of stuff, we need to stop. Amen. We need to just stop. And, and I mean, if he don't say nothing to you for a year, just stay in his stay. Stay in his face. Stay in his way. Yeah. Sooner or later he's going to speak because see, the thing is we give up too easy. Yeah, we do. We're going to get this wrong. Turn the second prayer, shallow prayer, and the minute we don't feel nothing, God ain't listening to me no way. Please. 
got to stop sitting around here putting these folks up in these here, in these palaces in heaven and all that kind of stuff. If they did not do God's will, if they didn't do it God's way, right. when something went wrong. Amen. Verse 11 said, we're almost done. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him. Listen, listen to this, who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. He don't care what you got to say. <laughs> he don't care what you got to add to this, this thing. And I looked up that, that who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. I said, define that for me, Google. God works all things after the counsel of his own will. Will is an unqualified statement of fact. In other words, you can't add nothing to it and you can't take nothing away from it. God don't care what you got to say. He has spoken and that's it. He said that according to the purpose of him, that's him, who worked all things after the counsel of his own will. It's God's will that matters. It's God's will that's going to come to pass. It's God's will that's going to move the word of God. In other words, God's words are clear and unequivocal. Equivocal. We should be able to understand his word, accept them, keep them, and do them. No other opinion qualified or unqualified is needed. God said it, and that's settled. It's settled. Psalms 119.89, David says, Forever, O Lord, Thy word is settled in heaven. So it don't matter. We can add anything to whatever we want to pertain to God's word. It's saved. We were made God's heritage portion and we obtained an inheritance. But we were foreordained, chosen, and appointed beforehand in accordance to his purpose, not what our family had in mind, but what God had already purposed in me. And that's something. So we 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 can tell you that your soul's inheritance is important to God. Amen. And He's the one that's going to work everything out in agreement according to His will. He works His own word and He agrees to it. And that's something. See, we we don't have verse twelve says that we should be the praise of His glory who first trusted in Christ. We have been destined to live for the praise of his glory as we first trust in Christ. See, if you don't trust in Christ, you can't live in the praise of God's glory. In other words, you can't give God pleasure. You won't don't want to. You're stubborn. You're still stubborn. And what did we say about the, the spiritually dead? Many people are still spiritually dead. They're insensitive to the will of God. They don't know the spiritual realities of God. They don't care. They, they don't want to choose these things. I know three thousand says, okay. <laughs> Verse 13 says, In whom ye also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. It comes to promise now that's going to keep you throughout the rest of your life in this earth to fulfill that which God had purposed inside of you, that Holy Spirit of promise. After hearing the word of God in spirit and in truth, I believe by faith this gospel of Jesus Christ. Do you believe it? Which is your salvation. Do you believe that this is your salvation? That God has appointed and anointed for you. And I was sealed with the promise of his Holy Spirit. Has God sealed you with the Holy Spirit? But without the Holy Spirit possessing, controlling, instructing, guiding, and leading me and you into the ways of God's truth, through Jesus, we will fail. We won't understand salvation's purpose because we will fail. Amen? And your soul will perish. Because the salvation is for the soul of man, not the body. It's for the soul. And your soul will remain in captivity like it is. If you're spiritually dead, your soul is still in captivity. And it's in bondage by who? Your flesh. <laughs> it's nature. Amen. It's not the devil. 
is your flesh. Because your flesh has the nature of the devil in it. I ain't saying body, I said flesh. Okay? So therefore, if we if we don't have what we need, it's because your flesh is still buffeting you. It's still got you puzzled. How does it puzzle me? Because of its lust, its desires, all the things of the world. I want part of everything going on in the world. I want to be a big shot, as they used to call it back in the day. Verse 14 says, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. His Holy Spirit is our guarantee by the soul's spiritual inheritance. If you don't get the Holy Ghost, if you're not trying to seek God for the Holy Spirit, in other words, like I said before, I would know, stay in his presence if you desire that. Don't leave. Keep going and keep pulling on him till you weary him. Say, Lord, I'm ready for your spirit. What do I have to do now to get your spirit? Because I need your spirit because I'm, I'm, I'm falling in love with your word, but I, I can't hold on to it without the strength that I need, which is your Holy Spirit. Because your Holy Spirit knows the word. It knows how to respond to the word. It knows how to react in the word according to your will. 2 Corinthians 1, 20 through 22 says, For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Now he which established us with you in Christ and had anointed us is God. It's all about him. He the one to do everything. Verse 22 says, Who has also sealed us and given us the earnestness of the Spirit in our hearts. We told you in Bible study, you got to have a new heart. You got to have that new heart because it comes fully equipped with God Himself. That is, if God is replacing it, the Holy Spirit is our witness, our sign of promise of what is to come in our salvation. It's our certainty, our guarantee, our confidence, our hope, our expectation in the word of God and his promises by our soul's inheritance through his son Jesus. Our yes and in him, amen. Your soul's inheritance was already purposed in Christ before the beginning of time. So don't make salvation a struggle. Salvation don't have to be a struggle when you know when you know that you have been purposed, don't be double-minded and unstable in all your ways in Him. Don't do that to God. But just submit yourself, therefore, to God. Unto God. And it says, period. Resist the devil. <laughs> Resist the devil and he'll flee. What does that mean? Put your flesh on a fast. Yeah, devil, devil. Put that flesh on a fast and watch the devil flee. Okay? I'm telling you, he's going to flee. The Bible says so in James 4 and 7. Put that flesh on a fast and watch it flee. Submit yourself to God as a consecrated vessel and watch that devil leave. God does provide material and spiritual blessings for his people according to our need in him, according to his riches by Christ Jesus. God's not going to pour out and give you stuff that you don't need, and especially if this stuff is going to drive you away from him. Amen. He's not going to do that. God won't do that. If it's going to make you shallow and weak in him, God will not give you that. So we thank and praise God, amen, and we hope you said something that will encourage the soul of everyone that's listening and to those that will share this word of God, amen? Because I tell you, God is real. The word of God is real, and God stands by his word, amen? He's not playing. Salvation is not, is not an inheritance like a Section 8 program. I tell you all that all the time. It's your, your soul's inheritance. That's it. It ain't for family, flesh and blood. It is for the soul of family, flesh and blood, if they want to. Okay? It's not just for just to be handed down and passed down like that. It don't work like that. But every man has to come into accountability with God. Amen? If you choose to do the will of God. Father God, in 
the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank and praise you for this day. We thank you so much, Lord God, for being our God, and thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for how you have bestowed your love upon us, oh God, and you have given us the beloved. You have shown us, oh God, that through the beginning, oh God, from the beginning of this world, how, oh God, to live in you through your son, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, for all the healing, all the deliverance. We thank you for even the chastisement, oh God. Whatever it's going to take, the instructions, oh God, your divine leading, oh God, you shutting doors and opening up doors. However you have to do it, oh God, cut the heat and the most sometimes. Bring us into the fullness of your purpose in us. For you, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we said that your will be done. Have your way now, Lord God, that now that we understand and know our soul's inheritance, our soul's purpose in you. In Jesus' name we thank you.